cyclotrons. Now that we discussed what a cyclotron is and we defined the cyclotron frequency, let's take a look at the following example that deals with the cyclotron. So, recall that cyclotrons are basically particle accelerators that can be used to treat tumors in patients with cancer. Suppose that the radius of curvature for the larger vacuum chamber of this cyclotron is 0.3 meters as shown in this diagram. So if the strength of the magnetic field inside the chambers is given by two Teslas, fine in part A the cyclotron frequency of our proton inside our cyclotron in part B the maximum velocity of that proton as it leaves the cyclotron shown in this diagram and in part C the non-relativistic kinetic energy of that proton so basically inside these chambers we have our proton that is moving in a circular pathway and as the proton moves moves inside this midsection, it accelerates as a result of that electric field created by our electric force. Now when the proton moves inside these chambers, it moves in a circular fashion as a result of the magnetic field that acts on that proton. So to find the cyclotron frequency, we use this equation that we defined in the previous lecture. So, the frequency of our oscillation of the proton about our cyclotron is given by Q, the charge, multiplied by B, the magnetic field, divided by 2 pi multiplied by M, the mass. The Q, the charge on the proton, is 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs. The magnetic field B was given to be 2 teslas, and the mass of our proton is 1.67 times 10 to negative 22 Kilograms. We plug that in and we find that the frequency is 3.05 times 10 to the 7 hertz. Now let's move on to part B. Find the maximum velocity with which our proton leaves our chamber as shown in this diagram. So basically, we want to equate the magnetic force acting on our particle. So Q multiplied by V multiplied by B to M multiplied by A, where A is the centripetal acceleration. So A is V squared divided by R, where R is the radius of curvature of this larger chamber. So we can cross out one of these V's and then solve for the V. The velocity or the non-relativistic velocity is equal to QR multiplied by B divided by M. So once again, we plug in our mass, we plug in our Q, we plug in our R, which is 0.3 meters, and plug in our B, and we get that the maximum velocity with which our proton leaves that chamber of the cycle cyclotron is 5.75 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. And finally, let's move on to part C. Calculate the non-relativistic kinetic energy of that proton. So basically, we want to apply our equation 1 half mv squared. So m is given to be the mass, so it's 1.67 times 10 to the negative 22 kilograms, and the velocity was found in part b. So we squared the velocity, multiplied by the mass, multiplied that by 0.5, and we get 2.76 times 10 to the negative 12 joules of energy, or equivalently, about 17.3 mega electron volts. So this is how much energy that proton carries. And basically when that proton collides with one of those cancer cells, it can basically kill off that cancer cell by disrupting things like charge. So this acts as ionizing energy, as ionizing radiation. It ionizes the molecules and atoms within the cancer cell and that readily destroys that cancer cell inside that tumor. Tumor.